Hello everyone, 안녕하세요. Welcome to another episode of Korean Through Photos, and I'm your teacher for this lesson, Hyunwoo. Today we're looking at a message that is posted on the wall. If you're thinking right now that this wall looks like it's not standing upright, you are right. This wall looks like it's going to fall down anytime now. And that's exactly what this message is saying. So let's read it once together. 주차 금지. 담이 무너질 수 있습니다. 차량 파손 시 책임지지 않습니다. Once again, line by line. 주차 금지 means no parking. And 담이 무너질 수 있습니다 means the wall can collapse. 차량 파손 시 책임지지 않습니다 means if your vehicle is damaged, we won't take responsibility for it. Now that's a very straightforward message. After seeing this message and the state of the wall, if you still park your car there, you really don't care much about your car. So let's dig deeper and study everything in a bit more detail because we have some really fun vocabulary words. In the first line, we have 주차. 주차 means parking and 금지. 금지 means prohibition. So whenever you see no so-and-so signs, in Korean, that'll be so-and-so 금지, okay? 금지. And the next line is 담이 무너질 수 있습니다. Once again, 담이 무너질 수 있습니다. 담 means fence or wall, but not just any wall. It has to be an outside wall that works like a fence and not a wall that's part of a building. In that case, it's called 벽. 벽. So do you understand the difference between 벽 and 담 now? 벽 is usually connected to the ceiling, whereas Tam has no ceiling to be connected to because it's outside like a fence, okay? So pyok and tam, in this case, we see a tam. And then we're talking about this action, 무너지다. 무너지다. 무너지다 means to collapse, to give way, or to cave in, as in something that was standing straight up, falling over, or falling down. And then 무너지다 is conjugated into this form, 을수 있다. 을수 있다. That means can. So in this case, it means that there is a possibility that the wall will collapse. So it can, it could collapse. 담이 무너질 수 있습니다. And the final line is 차량 파손 시 책임지지 않습니다. The first word 차량 means vehicle. And just like the word vehicle in English, 차량 is a more formal sounding word than car. Okay, 차량 or just 차 or 자동차. 자동차 or 차 will be more everyday words and 차량 is more formal. And then 파손. 파손 means damage or destruction, but closer to some physical damage done to objects. And the little word that you see after 파손 is 시, and it's the same 시 that you see in the word 시간, which means, yes, time. So 차량 파손 시 is short for, or it means the same thing as 차량이 파손되었을 때, meaning when your vehicle is damaged, or 차량이 파손되면, meaning if your vehicle is damaged. And the following word, 책임, means responsibility. And 책임, 지다, is the verb form, meaning to take responsibility for something or to answer for something. And of course, in this case, they are saying that they won't do that. 책임, 지지, 않습니다. And now, if you like to pay attention to details, you might notice that it's not written as 책임, 지지, 않겠습니다, which would be closer to we won't take responsibility in the future tense. And that's because they want to perhaps sound more rigid by saying, we don't take responsibility. So don't even count on it, right? Okay, so that wraps up this episode of Korean Through Photos, where we looked at a rather scary warning message. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of our new lessons. Well, thank you very much, everybody. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. 한국어 공부 재밌게 하세요. Bye! 주차 
차 금지 금지 주차 금지 주차 금지 담담벽벽 무너지다 무너지다 담이 무너질 수 있습니다 담이 무너질 수 있습니다 차량 차량 차차 차. 자동차 자동차 파손 파손 파손시 파손시 책임 책임 책임지다 책임지다 차량 파손 시 책임지지 않습니다 차량 파손 시 책임지지 않습니다